This is a book review on Same Place, More Space, 50 Projects to Maximize Every Room in the House. Um, I had a hard time with this book, and let me just quickly explain why. Um, first of all, I think that his directions and things like that for the projects that he is proposing in this book are a joke. Um, I, I just got done remodeling an 1800 square foot house, and we live in every inch of this house. And he breaks these projects into like, oh, okay, you can do this in 10 steps, which I know good and well, there is no way in hell you can do half these projects in the simple steps that he gives. And what he doesn't address is, you know, when you rip out tile in a bathroom, um, then you, you know, you take out the vanity and you know, then there's a hole there, you know, through the foundation, and then you got to pour concrete, and then, you know, then you can't find the transom to match the wood floors in your 1960s house. You know, it just like one little thing always leads to another, um, and that's just some of the stuff that, you know, just comes with remodeling a house, and he, you know, broke this book into, oh, you know, no big deal, you can do this in one weekend, and uh, so it was, you know, that part of it was like, ugh. I'm not crazy about and he gives these little difficulty hammers and how long it should take you which you know I don't know double it or triple it and maybe then you know you'll have more of a realistic or maybe it's just my husband and I we struggle a lot but anyway that's why I do a video review um, I will say that after I kind of you know kept with the book and kept looking at it he does give a lot of good suggestions for maximizing space um, here's a great example right here of cupboard and pantry reorganization and then another one that I kind of looked at was toe kick drawers in a kitchen I thought that was a really neat idea um, and then you can see right here he, he talks about it up here at the top and then he gives it a difficulty of three and it talks about you know what you need and then he gives eight steps on this page and then um, another five on this page with a basic diagram um, then he has some variation over here that's four hammers, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, Lord, that would take me uh, twice as long and twice as much headache, and then I'd probably ruin my cabinets in the process. So anyway, here are some <laughs> more examples. And then um, here is a closet. Oh, my little stickies are coming off. Uh, makeover. And... He's giving one to two hours per project with one hammer, which, you know, whatever. And then here is another project. I thought this was kind of cute. Flush with the floor, hidey holes. Um, I, you know, thought that was kind of a, a neat idea. If you really need to maximize your space, again, I mean, I can only imagine how hard that is. He only gives it three hammers, but okay. Um, there's a folding down changing table, but let me see what else I've marked. Here is closet under the stairs. Thought that was a good way. And he shows, you know, the diagrams and, you know, how to put in a header and things like that. I mean, you know, these are structural changes you're making to stairs, so you just kind of have to, you know, be aware of that. Here's another cute little under the stair home office. Here is installing attic access. My husband and I have done this, and we almost killed ourselves. So, um, you know, it, it can be done. Um, I would say that 68 hours is probably really accurate, and the difficulty of four. So I'll give him that. Um, literally, uh, my husband's up in here in the roof. He falls back, goes through the ceiling. I mean, then at one time I'm holding the stairs up on a ladder and I just can't hold it anymore and I'm yelling at him and he's saying one more minute well we drop the stairs they fall they hit a can of paint that's on the ground it splatters everywhere so yeah so maybe take what I'm saying with a grain of salt when I'm viewing when I am reviewing this book and then here is another project that I liked adding a little mezzanine I thought that was really cute great way to maximize space I have a really tall ceiling in a study that I'm building, and I'm thinking about doing this um, on the top of it to add a little reading nook. I'm expanding your garage storage space. So, you know, like I said, after I, I kind of started looking at everything, I liked it. So let me just kind of go through here real quick. And 
there is the table of contents. So there you go.